Tonight, Americans are feeling jittery after two of the largest bank failures in U.S. history. President Biden insists the U.S. banking system is safe. Uh, regulators have been scrambling to prevent a run on the banks. Uh, Fox News Christopher King asked a finance professor whether we should be worried here in Georgia about a possible crisis. Two banks collapse, one in California, the other in New York. Will banks, depositors, and investors here in Georgia feel any pain? The answer is maybe. Americans can rest assured that our banking system is safe. President Joe Biden trying to reassure Americans after the second and third largest bank failures in U.S. history. Should we be nervous here in Georgia? Kevin Crowley is an assistant professor with the finance department at Emory University's Goisleta Business School. Private citizens will be protected and have been protected, you know, uh, even under the existing laws before the government stepped in. As long as you have less than $250,000 in your bank, um, you were fully protected by the FDIC. The only larger bank collapse, Washington Mutual failed in 2008. The banking crisis that followed that year laid the groundwork for the Great Recession. Is this 2008 all over again? I don't think so. Um, I hope not. In this case, I think it's there's some challenges in the banking system, but it's it's not as bad as as what we saw back you know, 13 or 14 years ago. Regulators created a program to cover all depositors at Silicon Valley and Signature, even those exceeding federally insured limits of $250,000. No losses will be borne by the taxpayers. Instead, the money will come from the fees that banks pay into the deposit insurance fund. President Biden says taxpayers won't pay a dime. Is that realistic? If the policy ends up being that the government is going to protect banks um, or I should say protect depositors, no matter what the size of their deposits are, and you do have a lot of banks that are in trouble, then in some way, shape, or form, the government is, is effectively providing a protection, you know, at, at the cost of government. Crowley says the problems will fan out. The question is where, how deep, and how long lasting will they be? That's tough to predict. Christopher King, Fox 5 News.